Yemen is is uh, is a, is a neighboring country with a, uh, uh, an investment of of years of of financial, cultural, and social engagement with with Saudi Arabia, and when the call came from the president for support, not only Saudi Arabia but the other coalition uh, governments have come along. The world community is also in concert uh, with Saudi Arabia's uh, efforts in Yemen. But there has been a lot of criticism and suspicion expressed by Saudi Arabia about Iran's motives. To what degree do you think Iran is caught up in what's going on there? And do you think that they are orchestrating what the Houthi, what the Houthi rebels have done? The birth of the Houthi movement and its development emanating from Iran. Uh, and if you look at the history of the makeup of the Houthis, you will see a direct Iranian uh, connection to that. And more recently, of course, uh, the, uh, the support that has come to the Houthis from Iran was equally uh, indicative of the uh, linkage between Iran and the Houthis. Is Iran pulling the strings? I don't know. Um, the, the Houthis, uh, although they, they have operated um, in, in Yemen in, in a way that shows uh, leadership uh, organization and, and some capability, uh, what we do know is from intelligence and from the recent reporting in, uh, in, in the fighting in Yemen is that there are Iranians uh, advising uh, the Houthis on the ground. Um, and there are uh, members of the Lebanese Hezbollah uh, group also engaged in, their, in the fighting in, in the Yemen. There are plenty of people who see this as a, the latest installment in a sectarian competition. It's not between sectarian. Between Saudi Arabia leading Sunni power it's and Iran not, the Shia power. It's not sectarian. Um, the, the sectarian issue was never an issue in, 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 in the relationship with Yemen. Um, we the worked, coalition you put together is a Sunni coalition. You call it Sunni. I mean, Saudi Arabia has Sunnis and Shia in it. Uh, all the Gulf states have, uh, have uh, Sunnis and, and Shia in them. Uh, so uh, it, it depends on, on your definition of, of what Sunni and Shia is. We consider it to be a, 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 an effort to restore uh, a government that had been overturned uh, by uh, by uh, a group within that that country, it has nothing to do with with Shia or Sunni. So, if it's not about religion, it's about power. Then, Is that it's right? it's about stability, it's about peace, it's about helping each other. Now, with respect, sir, you are again you you say that sectarianism doesn't play a part in all of this, but. You're, you're expressing once again that on one side of a conflict there's Sunni and the other side there's Shia. There is a political factor that drives the sectarian issue. That's my contention. That it didn't emanate from a, a sectarian uh, divide but rather from a political um, a situation where uh, whether it is Iran that is promoting uh, the, the sect, the Shia sect, or it is the so-called jihadis that are countering that promotion. Now that there's been this, there's a coalition and Saudi Arabia has taken this action in, in Yemen with its coalition partners, uh, do you think that that might develop into a more um, direct and overt presence in the war in Syria? Some other kind of coalition perhaps put together to try to change things there? I don't know. Uh, I am not in the government as you know so I cannot speak for, for any official intentions or aims uh, by the Saudi government. But what I do see is a general consensus in the Arab world um, to come together, to meet the challenges that face the Arab world from an Arab point of view and from an Arab understanding between the various countries.